Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Paulina and here on my channel it is all about fragrances. In this video I'm going to be talking about sakura blooming in Bonn. I live in Germany in the city of Bonn and um, this city is famous for its sakura blooming and in April um, the sakura starts to show its beauty. It's just amazing and um, last year I made a video about sakura blooming in Bonn. I put the link in the description if you are interested about the history of sakura in Bonn, please have a look at that video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about a perfume, a fragrance that I strongly associate with sakura blooming because I like to connect some visual effects, visual happenings with you know some olfactory sight. And I have chosen a, a fragrance that contains cherry blossom in it. And uh, I'm going to be talking about Signorina in Fiore by the designer brand from Italy, Salvadore Ferragamo. What are the notes listed here? This fragrance was created in 2017 and this is another flanker of the famous Signorina line. 17, the top notes are pomegranate, pear and sorbet and the middle notes cherry blossom, jasmine and in the base white musk and sandalwood. As the cherry blossoms with their pink beautiful opulent flowers so is this fragrance. Pink, girly, girlish, very light, it's not going to suffocate anybody. It is so happy and playful. It projects just happy mood and coming of spring and summer. I'm, I think this perfume uh, is perfect for some spring and summer days, for sunny days. As I said, because it's not going to suffocate anybody, it's a perfect choice to wear in the office. If you like some fruity floral combinations, this is a very nice choice. I wouldn't say that this fragrance Signorina in Fiore is going to be something legendary that you're never going to forget, that it's going to be a head turner or man killer. It's not. It's just a nice, um, maybe in some way simplistic fragrance, but nonetheless because of this special note of cherry blossom and sandalwood and pomegranate, it makes this this notes make this fragrance something special. It's not that usual, but it has a strong predominant fruity floral touch with a little bit of bitterness, maybe because of the pomegranate, maybe because of the sandalwood, but it's just a sweet floral combination that is just um, very playful and young and I think it's a perfect match for the beautiful cherry blossoms in Bonn. And I told you many times that I like to combine I like the combination of body creams with fragrances and I often do the layering to intensify the um, longevity of the fragrances. And I found this body lotion by the body shop and it's called Japanese Cherry Blossom and um, besides of its um, moisturizing qualities it has a very nice innocent light fragrance, also something fruity floral. I think they are quite similar so I'm going to layer them. Um, the projection is quite nice in Signorina in Fiore, but the longevity is quite average. So, and uh, also remarkable is the design of this uh, bottle. It is a new version of the classic um, uh, Signorina bottles. This design was created in 2018 by the designer artist Joe Redcliffe. And I think you can find um, three or four 
uh, flankers of Signorina in this design. So 20 milliliters, I think it's a, you know, perfect size just to try a fragrance, especially if it's not, you know, something super special or super legendary that is going to blow your mind. As I said, it's just a nice, nice smelling fragrance for me strongly associated with sakura you know projecting projecting this girly pinky happy mood okay please um share with me your opinion about signorina in fiore if you have tried this fragrance if you're familiar with this one share with me your a layering experience maybe you know some other combinations that work perfectly i would be happy to read your comments thank you very much for your attention and see you soon next video bye bye